I was thinking that Kid9 would drop a few screenshots and the newly updated version of the summary infographic for this month's Coffin Request Report. But man, they dropped a whole number 9 and then told us that they are considering releasing episode 3, A and 4 together because there are problems with finding a graceful transition point between these two episodes. And because of that, the development progress will be extended for a few more months to address this issue and to avoid development burnout. Which also means no speculation on release dates again. It's about time we expect to play the next chapters in 2025, guys. And while waiting for them to solve this dilemma, Let's take a look at those screenshots and the episode 3 review video that Kidna provided for this month. We've got domestic violence, making friends with Blaze Holder campers, and surprisingly, Julia's perspective before the quarantine started. Needless to say, this video proves a few things that we already figured out months ago. Andrew didn't really care with Julia and just blamed them this whole time while his sister bullied her every day. I wonder how Ashley managed to distort her voice when making these voicemails. It also confirms that these voicemails in Andrew's nightmare are real by by the way. Some of you out there are probably still coping that Andrew is just a victim and not another horrible person in this game. But like any other times, it's shown that he's good at hiding and containing his true colors. I'm not surprised if he used sex as a way to shut Julia up after this cutscene, but that can be a bit stretch. If you have any different interpretation or you spot an interesting detail, then let me know in the comments. Once again, I gotta say goodbye and see you again in the next Coven Request Report. We're going to see each other for at least another 4 months anyway, so make yourself comfortable while you're here.